section 3.7 page 37 coincidentally decimal calculations you've got to be happy to handle the addition of decimals subtraction multiplication and division of decimals question one there's a mixture of sums there they're way too easy to bother with um, grade D um, I bet a few though you're going to start crying aren't you alright let's just do question one a little bit then I've got 84 times 0 0.5 so 84 times 0 0.5 well no technique there is half of 84 42 end of um, what's this next one is that plus or divide I can't tell must be a plus I'm not doing that one that's a divide I'll do this one though look at this 15 divided by 1.5 now look here's a nice technique write it as a fraction 15 over 1.5 now look, if we multiply this by 10, top and bottom, we're going to get 150 divided by 15. Now I think you can see that goes in there ever so nicely. The answer is 10. Beautiful, isn't it? So that's a great technique for dividing, isn't it? What else we got? Um, let's just try this one. This is question 2. I've got 3.6 <coughs> times 2.2. .2 just use long multiplication so 36 times 22 uh, 2 6 is 12 um, 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 is 7 so 2 36 is a 72 and uh, don't forget you've used that one to so get rid of it uh, now we just drop a 0 um, 2 6s are 12 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 is 7 leave them up there don't care about him now just add it 2 9 7 now so what's our answer going to be? Well, the answer is not going to be um, 792. It's going to be roughly 7, because 3, 2 is roughly 6. So it's 7.92. Anyway, look at it this way. One figure after the point. Two figures after the point. Two figures after the decimal point. That's one way of looking at it, alright? I can't believe 2D. Do I dare try it? Okay, let's do it. Looks horrific. How do you fancy doing this without a calculator? This is 2D. I've got 7.3 divided by 25. Isn't that awful? Look at it, look at it, even as a fraction. 7.3 divided by 25. But look, there is hope. If we multiply the top and bottom by 4, we get the bottom one out of 100. Look. So 25 times 4 is 100. And 4 times 7 is 28. Let's just do a little sum here. So 7.3 times 4, if we ignore the points just for the moment, um, then we'll just do it as a short multiplication sum. Right, um, 4 threes are 12, 4 sevens, not very good is it? 4 sevens are 28, plus 1 is 29, therefore I have got um, 29.2, and if I divide that by 100, you know, just go back twice for the decimal point, doing doing, naught. 0.292. That's definitely worth a great D. For goodness sake, it's better than that. All right, so that comes to 0.292 uh, as a decimal. That's it. And I've got other things to work out there. Bit too easy. I'm not doing that. Uh, I will turn over. I will turn over. And this is a lovely question, and therefore it deserves its own page. This is page 38. Carrying on with these. Um, what do you call them? decimal calculations. Now I've been given this, it says 82.1 multiplied by 5.6 is given to me as 459.76. Now that's correct, I trust. I'll just read it from the book. It says using the same digits in the same order, write down a multiplication sum with this answer. Right. I've got to make um, 45.976. Now look, what I have to do is compare the answer they want with the original answer in the question. As you can see, that is 10 times less than that. So I've got two answers. I can make the 8, 82.1, 10 times less, and go 8.21 and leave this unchanged. Or I can say, leave this one as 82.1 and have this 10 times less, 0 0.56.
and I'll still get 45.976. Let's just study it. Uh, again, that is 10 times less than 459.76, therefore either the 82.1 or the 5.6 has got to be 10 times less, but not both 10 times less, otherwise we end up with an answer that's 100 times less than the original. All right, so I can drop down the uh, 8.2 and call it 8. Sorry, the 82.1 and call it 8.21, or I can drop down the 5.6 down to 0 0.56. Either way, I'm going to get the answer correct. Moving along, change color. They want me to get 4.5976. Well, compared to the original, I've gone back once, twice. I've divided by 100. Therefore, I can shrink them both down if I want to. So 82.1, 8.21, I multiply them and I will get 4.5976. I could have shrunk one by 100 times and left the other one untouched if I wanted to. So I could have done this. I could have gone 0.821. So that's 100 less, isn't it? And left the 5.6 untouched, and I would get 4.59, get 5 again, 76. That would be correct. And that would be two examples of how I could have done that one. Uh, I think I'll do the last one because it looks disgusting. And we'll change back to, let's do green, see what happens. I'm aiming for an answer of 0.0459. 7, 6. Right, how does this original compare to this? Well, if I'm starting from 459.76, I'm going back one, twice, three times, four times. In other words, I've got to divide the overall question part of it by 10,000. Look, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. So if I can reduce each part by 100, um, then I've done it. So 82.1, 0 0.821, 5.6, Then you multiply up. Let's just check it. 8.2, go back once, twice, yep. 5.6, go back once, twice, yep. Let's just check by counting. 1, 2, um, 3, 4, yep. From here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, so I'm happy with that. I'll just give one example of that. And uh, I plan to stop straight away. Oh, there's a divide you one there. I've got to do it, haven't I? Sorry, it's a divide you one. <clears throat> In case you feel un unfulfilled. It's another one of these things where I give you a question, then you've got to make the answer fit. So well, at the moment, I've got 42.6 divided by 4, I'm told is 10.65. And I've got to try and get an answer of 1.065, 1 1.065, so that's my target. That is clearly 10 times less than that. Therefore, if I make this 426 by multiplying that, oops, I've gone the wrong way. <clears throat> I've got to get an answer that's 10 times, less the, 10 times less than the original. Therefore, I can divide this by 10, 4.26 divided by 4 will give me 1.067. Look at 1.065. Look at it this way. 4 divided by 4 is about 1. So in terms of estimates, that's OK. Look, 40 divided by 4 is about 10. So you can allow me that. I could have done something different, actually. I could have said, leave this all alone, 42.6, but divided by 10 times as much underneath, 40. All right, that will still give me one point. 0, 6, 5. Look at it carefully. 42 yeah, divided by 40. 40 divided by 40 is about 1. So I know I've got it right. So I can either take this one here, 10 times smaller, or make my, my numerator, my denominator that I'm, I'm dividing by um, 10 times bigger. And that will shrink it down to 1.065. Okay, More challenging, isn't it, when you're dividing? Right, my target number is 106. So my answer is 10 times as big as my original. Therefore, if I multiply this number by 10, I'm going to go 426, which is what I tried to do before, 
divide that by 4, look at it this way, 400 divided by 4 is about 100, and I've got it right. So that's one way of doing it, and uh, should we try one more? Let's try this one. We're going to go for 1065. Alright, so that is 100 times bigger than that. So therefore, I can make this 100 times bigger. 4, 2, 6, 0. Okay, times 10 and times 10 again. So 4,000 divided by 4 is roughly 1,000. I know I'm completely correct. Alright, and I will stop that right now because that's a bit of a headache and that's enough for a taste. Obviously, we'll do more of these in class, but if you want to revise them, this is the video.